Ciao a tutti e bentornati nel mio canale! Today I am going to uh, make another video lesson on a grammar topic which is very important and also very basic. I am talking about personal pronouns. I am going to split or break this grammar topic into three video lessons because I think it's better to take a step at a time instead of um, telling you everything about personal pronouns in a single video and then you will not understand anything I say because there's too much information. So today I am introducing to you the personal pronouns which are divided into personal pronouns subject and personal pronouns uh, object. And then the personal pronouns object are divided into direct personal pronouns direct object and personal pronouns indirect object. Today I will talk about the personal pronoun subject. The personal pronouns subject are the easiest ones because they are basically the subject of a sentence. Their function is to be the subject of the action expressed by the verb in the sentence. For example, if I say io vado a correre, the subject is io, which is I, and io is a personal pronoun subject. Let's have a look at all the personal pronouns subject. Io, prima persona singolare. Tu, seconda persona singolare. Lui, lei, terza persona singolare. Noi, prima persona plurale. Voi, seconda persona plurale. Loro, terza persona plurale. Io, tu, lui, lei, noi, voi, loro. As I did mention in a previous video, I don't remember which one exactly, but I remember that I did tell you about the difference in use of egli, ella and lui, lei. If you read any grammar book of Italian language, you will read that the personal pronouns for the third um, person singular, for the third singular person or third person singular, is egli in the masculine form and ella in the feminine form. Same thing happens for the third person plural, which is essi in the muscular, masculine form and essi in the feminine form. The previously mentioned personal pronouns are not very used in contemporary Italian because they have been replaced by lui, lei and loro. I always say lui esce, lei mangia and I use lui and lei as personal pronouns because that is uh, what um, we do in contemporary Italian. When I say we, I mean us Italians. However, you have to be very careful because the original purpose of lei and lui is to uh, function as personal pronouns indirect object. For example, if I say lei è molto simpatica, lei è molto simpatica, I'm using lei as personal pronoun subject as we do in contemporary Italian. But if I say Enrico è innamorato di lei, in the sentence lei functions as a personal pronoun indirect object because the subject is Enrico. È innamorato, the verb, di chi? Di lei. 
and delay is the uh, complemento di specificazione. So delay specifies who Enrico is in love with because the sentence means Enrico is in love with her. You will recognize that it's a personal pronoun indirect, indirect object because there is a simple preposition before the pronoun. Enrico è innamorato di lei. Personal pronouns subject can be omitted in a sentence because the uh, conjugation of the verb already makes you understand uh, who is the subject. Because Italian, as far as verbs, conjugation is very different from English, where you have the same conjugation for all persons. In Italian, the conjugation changes according to the person. Mm, so, for example, um, if I say Io vado al supermercato. Io, personal pronoun subject. I could also say Vado al supermercato because Vado implies that the subject is Io. Being Vado, the specific conjugation of the first person singular present tense of the verb andare. You don't have to every time express the pronoun subject because there is no need to sometimes. I hope it was not too boring because I know grammar video lessons can be boring. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer as soon as I read your comment. Have a great week and ci vediamo la prossima settimana. Ciao ciao!